Hey, this is Jake with Avion. Today I want to talk to you about is, is how to install the Avion Direct Connect Infrared Sensor. The Infrared Sensor has multiple different mounting options that we'll discuss today. Now a Direct Connect Sensor uses a proprietary cable that connects this, connects this sensor to one of our devices like the low voltage fixture adapter through the sensor interface or the Avion XPP through its sensor interface or inside this fixture we have the Avion IFA, the internal fixture adapter inside here with its sensor interface. Now there's multiple different options or different ways you can use this sensor. One is an end fixture mount. This fixture right here has a knockout so I can easily take this knockout. Now the knockout is a little bit bigger than this but the nut that it comes with is plenty large enough. So I can take it in here just screw the nut on the back, clamps in there very nicely, and then I can take the direct connect wire, connect it in the back of the sensor, and then connect it directly to the internal fixture adapter or any of our adapters that have the sensor interface. And so that's the in fixture mount. The other option, the other mounting option is as follows. If you wanted to do it inside of, of a ceiling tile, There'll be another adapter that will, that will extend this with a little lid on the top to where you can actually take it and stick it inside a ceiling tile and clamp it down. Now, another option that's going to be very popular is you know, the high bay option, a side mount sensor. So right here we have this elbow. Now if you notice this elbow it has a small little part right here where it actually will, will clip itself in to a fixture which makes it really nice. So with this fixture, we can take it in here. It clips in, or if you wanted added security, you can add the, you know, the nut inside here. Now the, the threads on here are one inch thick, one inch is long, so it works out good. But even for this fixture that has a, a, a thick sidewall right here, so we go ahead and clamp that down. Now the direct connect sensor, one end will go into the internal fixture adapter, and the other end will go into the sensor. Now. Talking about this cable, this is a 10-foot cable. The one that it comes with will be a 3-foot cable. I just happen to have a 10-foot cable here, so I've got it zip-tied up. But it will, by default, the sensor will come with a 3-foot cable. Now this elbow is designed so that the square connector can go straight into it and not get caught. It will go in and out of this with no trouble at all. So once you have that in and out, you take this and you would connect it, the direct connect sensor on the back of this, and then you would anchor this down. And it has a little guiding line, so you can easily guide it, you know, follow the guidelines and, cl and clamp it down, right? And then you have a side mount infrared sensor. Now something I want to something I want to point out here with this particular sensor and this cable. You won't have the issue with this right here, but what you can have an issue with is if you have this in a ceiling tile and you run the you run the wire through the ceiling tile first and connect it, and then you take this up and start twisting it in then this cable can twist. Now a little bit of twist is fine, you're going to have that, but if you end up having a very tight twist behind this connector, that could be a point of failure, especially a year or two down the road where, you know, if, if the connector gets weak or the wire inside gets weak. So you want to keep in mind when you're, when you're attaching this cable, try to attach this cable last if possible, or do like a counter twist and then connect it to the sensor and then twist it back together again. You just want to make sure it doesn't have a lot of, you don't want a lot of twist behind this in some of your mounting applications. And that is how you install the Direct Connect infrared sensor. Thank you.